Hello guys! Steven Universe went on a freaking hiatus again. No problems, we still have a lot of crazy topics to talk about. Today we will explore this awesome imaginary place called Steven Universe series. But not just that, we will choose the 5 worst theories we could ever find on the web. Some of them are so absurd, you will probably think that I made up the whole thing. But no, they are all theories based on real arguments. Imagination. Well, I'll start with this supposition for one single reason. It's boring and cliché. Almost every show has a stupid theory like that. It says that Steven Universe is just a regular kid playing with regular gemstones. And all we have seen so far in the show is the product of his creativity and imagination. Come on, we have seen it so many times. Pokemon and Adventure Time have very similar assumptions. Again, boring and cliché. Connie is a gem. I bet it started when Steve and Connie first fused. Gems can't fuse with humans as far as we know, so we had two ideas to follow. One, Steven can fuse with Connie because he's half human. Two, they can fuse because they are both half gems. Well, if Connie is a gem, why didn't she stop aging like Steven did? Or why her parents didn't give up their physical form to give her birth? Connie is fine as a human. She represents diversity and power of will. No need to change that. Lovers. This theory says that Jasper and Rose were former lovers. It probably started due to Jasper's obsession with Rose Quartz. Through this, everyone in this show is kind of obsessed with her. Jasper is just one more, they all loved Rose. Greg and Pearl love her romantically, Steven maternally, Garnet and Amethyst for her acceptance as an inspiration. Jasper seems to admire her because she was a great and strong opponent. It's a militaristic admiration. I wouldn't say love at all, it's a bit too much. Crystal Villains First of all, this is a good theory, it's well written and carefully thought. It's here just because I think the chances to make this canon are very low. It says that the crystal gems are in the bad side of the plot. They kept Labs prisoner for ages. The monsters, who were gems, keep unstoppably attacking them and they actually killed a gem. Well, I believe they are not good guys or bad guys. There are two sides but both with terrible mistakes. No reason to demonize the crystal gems. Onion Diamond, it's a joke, it certainly is, but it's a theory after all, and a bad one. Some people believed Onion was actually Yellow Diamond. This theory justified his incapability to speak by affirming he can only speak in homeworld language. I wonder which language is that. His pale face would be an indicative too, so I suppose Sour Cream is also a freaking gem. And the last, he's the only one to fearlessly face the crystal gems. Well, of course he is. Onion looks like a psychopath seeking for his next victim. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. If you have any crazy theories, please let us know in the comments below. See you next week. Love.